It is easier to win in business than it is to win in life. Here's an example of what that looks like. Someone goes all in on business. They get their self-worth in business. They get their identity in business. But then because business is always fluctuating, going up and down, there's no stability. So what you do is you keep trying to find that stability in business that will never exist. So your emotions are all, are all over the place. You're overworked. You're uh, underslept. You're overwhelmed. You're tired. You're stressed out. You're anxious. But hey, 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 you're successful in business. Most people as a performance coach, most people that have come to me, not all, but most, have been winning in business, some just recently, some for many years, but they're not winning in life. Maybe they're the CEO of their business, and at the same time, they don't feel the CEO in their life. They don't feel like the powerful decision maker that they could be. They don't feel like they're making the best decisions for themselves. They feel like they're at the back of the queue. They feel like they put everyone else first before they put themselves first. And that is why, based on my own experience, I know, in my opinion, but my knowing is that it's easier to win in business than it is to win in life, long term. Because if you were winning in life, whether your business was going good or bad, whether it was growing or stagnating, your wealth, internal wealth, how good you feel and how wealthy and abundant you feel wouldn't change. If, you were not to, if you, your happiness was not determined on your business, you would be healthy if your happiness and all your attention and focus and, and all of your attention and focus was in, uh, was in your business, you can't be happy. Because once again, business is always fluctuating unless an ingredient for being your own life CEO is you're not attached to those things. And everything that you're looking to achieve in business is just an added bonus to your already wealthy, healthy, happy life. There's a reason why a lot of people go through their life pushing, pushing, pushing in business and saying, oh, it's just the way it is. You just got to keep working for that promotion, work for that raise, work for that new job, work for that next level in your business, only to get to a point where maybe hopefully it's not too late, but to get to a point where you realize you're unhappy, you're unfulfilled, you're unhealthy, and you're unwealthy, as in you do not feel wealthy, even with your massive bank balance or even with your title or your corner office. How we become the life CEO is by, like business, understanding that there are ingredients to being a leader in business. There are ingredients to achieving success in business. There are ingredients to being a CEO. And there are also ingredients to winning in life generally. So that you have not just your passion in one area, what's called obsessive passion, getting all of your self-worth and all of your identity in one area, and therefore not really knowing yourself because that one area is always changing all the time. But having holistic passion, having holistic wholeness, having holistic, having holistic wellness. And there are ingredients for this. Just like there are ingredients, I've got a few props here. There are ingredients in this oat milk. There are ingredients in this Viridian, by the way, one of the best supplement companies in the world for natural health supplements. There are ingredients in this multivitamin. There are ingredients, I found this the other day. In the first book I ever wrote, the result is what people get out of this book. But the result is determined by the ingredients. The result, the reason why I drink Oatly over any other oat milk is because the result, my experience of drinking this, is determined by the ingredients. And I choose this multivitamin by Viridian because of the ingredients and therefore the result that I wish to have. So when we look to be, is let's say if you removed all of, your, all of your financial wealth, all of your business, all of your staff, all of your colleagues, everything, for you to feel wealthy, healthy, happy on your own, there are ingredients involved. And like the Oatly, like the Viridian multivitamin, like the book, this is the first book I ever wrote. Can you notice? <laughs> Can you see by the cover, right? Production over perfection. I barely passed high school, barely passed high school. I think my highest grade was a C and I was pretty happy with that. But the school system was broken for me personally. It made me believe that I was stupid. I'm just, I was just wasn't meant for normal school. But I went on to write a book. Actually, I went on to write 10 books, 
this is my final book or my latest book available on Amazon, How to Overcome Your Challenges, just released in December last year. Massive shout out to Andrew Priestley, my mentor, friend, book coach that helped me got a lot of my books out into the world. But yes, there are ingredients in these books that guarantee the result, or at least the result that you're looking for is determined or are determined by the ingredients in the books. The result that you're looking for are determined by the ingredients in this bottle. The result that you're looking for are determined by the ingredients in this oat milk. That's enough of those props. But one of the ingredients to, let's not talk about the ingredients in the book. Let's talk about the, the ingredients in getting a book out into the world. I was on a course, my first ever personal development or business development course. Shout out to Daniel Priestley uh, for putting me in his business accelerator called KPI, Key Person of Influence, the best business accelerator in my opinion. I did it in my 20s. There was a reason why hundreds of people have gone through the KPI process and not all have books. And I can tell you definitely in my class back in whenever it was, I don't know, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, maybe even 15 years ago, in a class of around 50 people, when only two handfuls of people at that time, by the time I had finished the course, I think it was six months, had produced a book, had to, got the result they wanted. And that was because, that was because of the ingredients that were at play or the ingredients that you needed to put into the mixing bowl, so to speak. One of which was, it's not rocket science, was write. Write, 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 write. And I was non-negotiable around doing that. And I was actually one of the first people in that class. And I think generally, I think there had been two classes before me to actually publish a book. And actually I put so many ingredients, so to speak, into the mixing bowl so much work in in that course that actually I got featured then in future books by Daniel. I got put on his stages. Why? Because of the ingredients that I put into work, into action. And when it comes to being your life CEO, living your best life, tapping your full potential, this is what I've been helping people with. My helping people with over the last 19 years as a coach and now high performance coach specializing in mental performance and the disciplines for wealth, health and happiness or in this uh, talk uh, when the session, what I'm calling ingredients uh, and me first, right? So I don't share anything with anyone unless I know this ingredient will help you get a result that you don't currently have. It'll help you go from tired to energized. It'll help you go from lost and confused and frustrated to certain and confident, living with conviction. It will take you from being unhappy and unfulfilled to being happy on purpose and, and living with at least more in a piece. And, and that's what it takes. But we, knowing that there are ingredients to making everything, to the oat milk, to the multivitamin, to the books, there are ingredients in making the Sure SM7 or whatever it's called, microphone. There are ingredients into making my MacBook. There are ingredients into making my car, my uh, Honda CBR650 motorcycle. There are ingredients into making everything. And what happens if you leave out one ingredient? It won't be the same result. One ingredient left out can almost guarantee you that the result will not be the same. Obviously different for different cases or different examples. So when you look at, imagine this, let's use the oat leaf, but not talk about the oat leaf. Imagine that your best life is a canvas. And this is the canvas here. It's a mini canvas, but it's a canvas. Imagine that your best life here is the front of this oat leaf carton. What would it look like? Remove anything that's on the outside world, as in things that can go away. Would you be living in your values? Would you, be, ha, would you have a clear vision for your life? Would you be in a, in a powerful mission? Would you love what you do and do what you love? Would you have a strong why and a purpose for getting up in the morning? Would you be bouncing out of bed in the morning because of this picture? Who will be in this picture? What would this reality look like, smell like, sound like? What would it feel like? What would you see? 
Who would be in it? Who would not be in it? What would be in it? What would not be in it? Get super, super clear. The first step to achieving confidence in life is clarity. You cannot have confidence without clarity. And that's why the last half of 2022, I kind of took the year off. And I said to a few friends of mine, even one person that wanted to partner with me, I said, I need six months because I need to get clarity. I changed a lot in my life. I moved where I'd been from where I'd been living for 20 years to Asia. I separated from my wife. No other reason than I, I knew that there were different ingredients needed in my life for me to fulfill this picture that I've always seen in my mind. But what is that picture for you? What is that picture for you living at your absolute full potential? Where you wake up in the morning, you feel inspired. And you go to bed in the evening and you feel satisfied. And then you wake up again in the morning and you feel appreciative for the life that you have. You feel enthusiastic about what's coming up that day. And then the moment throughout that day, you don't rush to the next day or to the end of the day. Because you love your life so much and you love your business so much and you love your relationship so much that you don't want the day to come to an end. Whatever that picture looks like for you, now you've got to flip it around. Most people know the picture. Not all, but most people know the picture. They know what they want. They might be on a macro level. It might be on a micro level. But most people know what they want. Actually, I think that's even an exaggeration. A lot of people know what they want. And they even know what to do, but they don't do what they know. They don't put the ingredients into work. And when you become non-negotiable, firstly, when you have clarity on the ingredients that you know will allow you to guarantee the result on a daily basis at the end of this year, generally speaking in life, the way you choose to live your life, if you know the ingredients that would guarantee you living a better game, a bigger game, living with more power, more passion, more purpose, and you don't put those ingredients into play, one of my mentors once told me this, that's what you would call child's play. And living your best life holistically is grown-ups work. Why? Because it requires choice and responsibility. Massively responsibility, personal responsibility. A lot of talks that I've done and trainings that I've done over the years with companies, I always start with responsibility. If you don't like the picture that you see, you can't wish or namaste or wusa or satu your way to a better life. You've got to put different ingredients into your day. So you could just right now think about what are the 10 ingredients that if I put these into my day, every day, I'd be closer to guaranteeing the result for my better life, for my best life. Where I go into my company, I go into my business, I go into my job feeling full. And I leave my job feeling full because I've already got my ingredients for the day. This is where you have more certainty, more confidence, more energy, more purpose, less frustration, less overwhelm, less stress, less anxiety, less boredom, less questioning yourself, doubting yourself. Why? Because you, you've put your ingredients in to get you the result that you want. So whether you're building your Oatly life, you're building your multivitamin life, you're building your published life, you're building your speaker life, there are always ingredients involved. And this is the thing that I love to study and I have loved to study for the last 19 years, probably before that. I got into coaching at 19 years ago, but also throughout my early life and teenage years, I was always looking for those ingredients. And actually, the first ingredient I found, just on a side note, the first ingredient I found for living uh, an empowered life was, and thank God for this, because I relied on this uh, throughout my childhood, and that was movement. Movement, sport, fitness, whatever you want to call it. No one has ever said to me in 19 years of coaching, after doing a workout that they enjoy, whether it's boxing, yoga, dancing, running, walking, swimming, cycling, martial arts, no one has ever one single time said to me, 
that I feel worse as a result of doing that exercise. So when I was just chatting to one of my team about this and saying, I find it crazy that people find excuses for exercising when they know based on their own experiences that this is an ingredient that always helps them get a better result. And actually one of my friends that's never been into fitness, he recently just said to me, after being, I've known him for about four years and he got more and more into fitness over these four years. I don't think he was in fitness at all four years ago. He's now online doing videos saying, I now understand that with fitness, everything gets better. And that if you're not moving, you're compromising in your life. If you're not exercising, if you're not staying fit, you're not going to reach your full potential. And this is someone that four years ago, having gone through four decades of their life, did not appreciate exercise. Now I've heard them say personally to me, and I've seen them say it online, that if they don't exercise for only two or three days, it changes the result. It changes what they get. So as, so as soon as they can, they get back into fitness immediately. And this particular person is very resourceful like me and gets their movement done with something else, with working, with uh, have, making calls. I mean, after this, it's 9 p.m. here. I'm going to go on what my clients know I do all the time, which is a WhatsApp walk, where I walk and move and raise my heart rate a little bit and work at the same time. That's what non-negotiable is. So firstly, you've got to know the ingredients because clarity is power. And then two, rather than a lot of people knowing what to do and not doing what you know, it's about being absolutely non-negotiable around putting those ingredients into play every single day. And if you're not doing it every day, I have to question how badly do you really want the result? Because if someone else can do it every day, why can't you do it every day? Maybe it's not important enough for you. I don't know. Maybe you need a coach to work with you and figure out, is this actually something that I want? Am I making it bigger than it needs to be? Am I overcomplicating the situation? Could I be more efficient? Could I get it done in less amount of time? Clarity, 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 clarity. How from, from uh, seeking clarity to having clarity to having a conviction around that clarity, it comes from asking great questions. So in the last few minutes, I just want to share that in alignment with everything that I've just shared, on the last weekend of March, I'm actually with my team, team of coaches, we are running a free online event to help you become more non-negotiable. Right, The event is called Become Non-Negotiable, Becoming Non-Negotiable. But maybe you're already non-negotiable uh, non in certain areas. But there's other areas where you just feel very negotiable. You feel very compromised. You feel like you, maybe even you've let yourself down in these areas. And the three greatest goals in life are to feel wealthy, to feel healthy, and to feel happy. And we'll be teaching and sharing the ingredients, or as, they, as we say in the event, the disciplines like a monk is disciplined, like a, a marine is disciplined, we will be teaching and sharing the disciplines for inner wealth, inner health, and inner happiness. And the result of knowing that and practicing those disciplines will be that you live every day fuller and more fulfilled, with more certainty, more energy, and living more on purpose. Certainty, energy, and on purpose. CEO, being the CEO of your life, not just one area of your life. So I'm going to stick the event link on the screen. One of my teams here, Matt, Director of Coaching, Master Coach, Matt Grady. He'll be sharing the link in LinkedIn, maybe in YouTube also, also in Facebook. If you're watching this on recorded, uh, whether you're watching this live or recorded, click the link, register for free. There's no catch. It's two days of mental performance coaching with a group of high performers all in a room for two days, serving you to help you become more non-negotiable by specializing and honing in on what are the disciplines for your wealth look like? What would make you feel wealthier? What would make you feel healthier? And what would make you feel happier? You've got to know that, but we're going to help you figure it out. Let me just come to the chat very quickly. Hello, Minx. Uh, hello, Matt. 
Uh, hello, Claire. Nice to see you. Claire says, I've only been moving every day for a couple of weeks uh, less. I feel awesome and I'm eating better. Amazing. Uh, Matt, Claire says, uh, Claire Rockstar. Uh, Matt has shared the link uh, for the online event. Same one as on the screen, but you can check it in the comments. You can find it on my, on my Facebook page, my public page. You can find it on my LinkedIn platform. Hey, Sharon, nice to see you. Uh, Claire says, I'm going to be hard pressed to find a better coaching community to follow than this one. Oh, you're going to be. Uh, Claire is a member of my mastermind and a student on my coaching and my events. Uh, she's just shared, you're going to be hard pressed to find a better coaching community to follow than this one. Absolute game changer. Thank you so much, Claire. That's amazing. Matt, take a screenshot of that. That's such a nice uh, 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 message. I'd love to come back and see that later day. Uh, Matt has shared the link in YouTube, in Facebook, and LinkedIn. Annabelle, nice to see you. Um, speaking of clarity and questions, I've got eight more minutes. Would anyone like to ask any questions? Would anyone? And any question, uh, otherwise I will call this meeting to an end, if that's how you say it. Uh, today I was absolutely non-negotiable, as always, around the things that allow me to feel like I'm in control of my life. That's what it means to be the life, your, your own life CEO. It means to feel in control and not to be a victim of your own life. You know, we're all going through life, but through our choices and our responsibilities, think about that. At one end of the spectrum, you can feel in control of every single part of your life, external and internal, by the mindset that you choose, the disciplines that you live by, the attitude that you choose to keep. And at the very same time, you can feel like life is incredibly unfair and life is happening to you and you're a victim and uh, nothing goes right, nothing goes your way. This all comes down to our perception, you know, time, all time is just a result of what we experience in time. Let me, let me start again. Let me take that back. Everything that we experience in any moment in time, the result of that experience comes down to our perception of that experience, because you could have two people going through the exact same moment in time. Let's say right now it's 8.53 Bangkok time. So right now, 8.53, myself and Annabelle could be having a completely different experience for the next seven minutes until 9 p.m. Bangkok time. Why? Because of what we are seeing in our environment, the experiences of intensity that are going on around us, and our perception and perspective of what that means. Anyway, there's no questions, so click the link, come there. It's a free event. Like I said, there's no catch. I haven't ran an event since middle of last year. I'm mega excited, and I now have an amazing, incredible team of coaches, and everyone will be coming and sharing from their angle, from their perspective, from their um, perception of what this means and, and how they can help you based on their skills and their knowledge and their experience over two days for you to become more non-negotiable. Hope to see you there. Thanks for being here. If you're watching this recorded, type hashtag replay so I know that you're here. And also, uh, can, if I can kindly ask you to do it, the more you type in hashtag replay, the more it will show this uh, to other people because that's how the algorithms work. If people engage in the chat, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, any platform says, oh, there's something interesting here. So let me show this to more people. So in advance, thank you very much. Claire, go to this event. It will be really enlightening. Claire doesn't work for me, I swear. Uh, she's just very kind. Thank you so much and a great student. All right, I'm going to go on my WhatsApp walk and then take my day to a close. Take care and hopefully see you next weekend. I think it's the 25th and the 26th. Click the link. Register for free. Uh, you'll be invited into Zoom. You'll be invited into a Facebook group. Please make sure you join the Facebook group because that's where the pre-training is, pre-training from all the speakers, all the coaches, and also the engagement during the event will all be in the Facebook group. And the Zoom will be video only. But if you want to come hang out with me and Matt and Sam and Mark and everyone else on Zoom, then make sure you register for the event and we'll see you there. Take care. See you very soon. Bye-bye.